Passing, communication, and coordination all braid together in this basketball classic called the weave. Use a full court. Here's how it looks. Place players in three lines at the baseline. The first player in the middle line gets a ball. On your call, go! The player with the ball passes to the teammate on their right before running behind them and continuing up the court. The player on the right then passes to the player on the left and continues the pattern, creating a braid as they go. When the group reaches the opposite three-point line, the player with the ball attempts a layup. Whomever grabs the rebound then restarts the weave in the other direction. After the layup, they get their own rebound and pass to the next player in the middle line who starts the next wave. Set a target, like five full court weaves, and see how fast your team can reach its goal. Here, the ball should never touch the floor. Players cannot dribble and must grab the rebound before the ball hits the court. Players will never encounter a weave in the actual game, but the skills they use here will help them communicate and move as a team come game time. Reward good defense in this small-sided game we call Champions and Challengers. Use a half court. Here's how it looks. Divide the group into at least three equal teams of two to five players. Two teams play to start. Play begins when the team on defense passes the ball to the team on offense, initiating a scrimmage with a twist. We're emphasizing the defense. If the defense gets a stop, they stay on to guard the next team while the offense rotates out. Yeah, that's a point, good. If the team on offense scores, they stay on against the next team, but switch to defense. Flashy highlights and big shots can make basketball appear to be all about offense. Here, we're flipping that mindset by putting the defense in the spotlight. It does win championships after all. The defense tries to run out the clock without letting the offense score in this game called perfect possession. Use a half court. Here's how it looks. Divide players into two equal teams of three, four, or five. One on offense, one on defense. Use a stopwatch or keep time in your head to set a 30 second shot clock. Play starts when the team on defense checks the ball to the team on offense. The offense's goal is to score. The defense's goal is to play a perfect possession and let the shot clock hit zero before the offense scores or gets a rebound. Two, one, good. Reset the shot clock every time the offense hits a shot or grabs a board. Perfection isn't easy, and the defense might get frustrated as the shot clock keeps resetting. Good, clock resets. Encourage them to embrace the challenge and learn from past mistakes to strategize One. and lock it down. Grab it. Good, Black. Good, Black. Good. Practice closing out and help defense in this game we call crisscross. Use a half court. Here's how it looks. Divide players into teams of three, seen here in white and black. The team in black lines up along the baseline. The team in white lines up across from them at the three-point line. The player on the far left of the baseline starts with the ball. They pass to the teammate next to them and sprint to guard the player diagonally across from them. The player with the ball then passes to the next teammate on the baseline before sprinting to guard the player directly in front of them. The final player on the baseline passes the ball to the player in white directly in front of them before sprinting to guard the player diagonally across from them. The players in white then pass the ball all the way back to the far left before the game is live. That means white becomes offense, black becomes defense, and teams play to a score or a stop. Good take. Let's go, white. That's one. Then swap roles and play again. Here, we're working on closing out the offense, rapidly accelerating towards them while chopping the feet, getting low, putting one hand up to guard the shot and one hand down to guard the dribble. We're in, go ahead, go! Good job! Players move the ball around the court and into the basket in this game called circle passing. Use a half court, then use cones to make a rectangular space. 
Here's how it looks. One player starts under the basket with the ball. The rest of the group spreads out around the perimeter of the space. On your call, ready, go. the player with the ball passes it to the teammate closest to them, who immediately passes it back. They repeat this process with every player standing around the space. When the last teammate passes them the ball back, they pivot and try to make a layup. Rotate, girls, rotate, rotate. Once they make a shot, players rotate, and the next player under the basket becomes the next passer. Put 30 seconds on the clock and challenge the group to score as many points as they can before time is up. Let's go hustle, Brooklyn, hustle, hustle, hustle. Good. With time ticking, players might rush and forget proper passing form. Remind them to use both hands to push the ball toward the target taking a step forward in that direction and following through with both arms. The player under the basket may forget to dribble when going for the layup. Remember, in the actual game, they're allowed to take two steps before a layup. Any more, and they'll be called for a travel. Good, Isa. There you go, good finish. Mojo! Great passes lead to great shots in this small-sided game named after Michael Jordan's college basketball coach, Dean Smith. Use a half court. Here's how it looks. Divide players into teams of three, four, or five each. Play begins when the team on defense passes the ball to the team on offense, initiating a scrimmage with a twist. Players can only score off an assist. That means any shot must come right after a pass. To make it obvious, players must point to the teammate who passed to them and say, nice pass. A small-sided game is a kind of scrimmage focused on developing a specific skill or tactic. Work on pick and rolls, work on passing, work on back doors. Nice pass. Here, we're encouraging players to share the ball and create open shots. Some players might get blinded by the basket and only look to create their own shots. Remember, assisted shots are usually more open than unassisted ones. The more the ball moves, the better chance the team has to score. Good, Brooklyn. Nice. The offense and defense compete to grab the rebound in this game called On the Board. Use a half court, then place two cones on the baseline and two on the elbow. Here's how it looks. Divide players into two teams, offense and defense. Then divide the offense into two lines at the elbows and the defense into two lines on the baseline. The game starts when you pass the ball to one of the offensive players. The defensive players sprint to guard the player across from them as the player with the ball attempts a shot. The defense's goal is to secure the rebound for one point. The offense's goal is to score or get an offensive rebound for one point. Play until the offense scores or gets a rebound or until the defense gets a rebound. Then the ball goes back to you to start the next round. Whether on offense or defense, players will need to box out to have a better chance at grabbing the rebound, positioning themselves between their opponent and the basket. Hips bent, feet wide, and arms outstretched. Let's go, good job, good job, good job. Hey, defensively, good job. Hope you like house chores, because we're cleaning the glass. This is Rebound Relay. Use a half court, then place two cones on the three-point line. Here's how it looks. Divide the group into two teams lined up at each cone. You stand at the free throw line with the ball. The first player in each line starts standing underneath the basket. The game begins when you shoot the ball and miss on purpose. The two players under the basket compete to grab the rebound. Put the ball back up and score. The first player to score gets a point. They then run to the back of their lines, and the next two players are up. Play until everyone in each line gets a turn. Whichever team has the most points wins the round. Players will have more success securing the rebound if they remember to box out, positioning themselves between their opponent and the basket, hips bent, feet wide, and arms outstretched. When they have space, they can pivot and lay it in for a point. Like that. Troubleshoot end of game scenarios in this advanced game we call buzzer beater. Use a half court. 
Here's how it looks. Divide players into two equal teams of three, four, or five, one on offense, the other on defense. Choose a common end of game scenario like 10 seconds left on the clock, offense down one. Before inbounding the ball, talk to each team and draw up basic offensive and defensive plays to run. Depending on their skill level, they can also call their own play. 10, nine, eight, Once seven, the game is live, ahead, count down loudly five, so players know how much time is left and how to adjust their strategies accordingly. One. Remember to celebrate a defensive win with just as much excitement as an offensive win. A buzzer beater doesn't have to be a last second shot. It can also be a last second stop. Good, yay, good girl, good. Players practice passing and scoring in this dynamic game we call full court shooting. Use a full court. Line up three cones on one baseline and two on the other. Here's how it looks. Place players in lines behind each of the five cones, then give balls to the player standing in the middle on one baseline and the two players on the other. On your call, the player in the middle initiates a full court weave with the teammates to their left and right. They pass to the teammate on their right before running behind them and continuing up the court. The player on the right then passes to the player on the left and continues the pattern. When the group reaches the opposite three-point line, the player with the ball attempts a layup gets their own rebound, and waits to start a new weave in the other direction with the two players waiting on the baseline. But before they do, they pass to the players in the weave who did not shoot, who then both take a shot from the elbows as the new weave begins. Time how long it takes to complete a full lap of the court. Then, swap rolls or rotate new players in and challenge them to set an even faster time. Here, the ball should never touch the floor. Players cannot dribble and must grab the rebound before the ball hits the court. Players will never encounter a weave in the actual game, but the skills they use here will help them communicate and move as a team come game time. <laughs>